Gaze has put on some great matches in this uh, Vaunted Hall here on the Thursday Throwdowns. And again, Gaze has got a lot on this match too. He recently came up short in his attempts to win the PWA Heavyweight title from Eddie Osborne. And now Phoenix has attacked him as he's climbing into the ring. This youngster's decided he's, gonna, he's not gonna give Gaze a chance to even warm up. There's a big elbow back across the head. Gaze looks a little staggered. Phoenix has gotta stay on him. As you see, Gaze is ever dangerous even when he's hurt. It's like poking a big old copper head with a stick. It's not a good idea, you gotta stay on him. Phoenix is punching him down now with the elbows. Working over the back of the neck and the back of the head. That one drove Gaze into the mat. Gaze is not giving up though, he's fighting back to his knees. There's a short one to the jaw, here comes the whip. Phoenix, big clothesline drops Gaze, and again, Phoenix jumps right on him there, holds him down, Gaze just kicks out at one. He's got him rocked, but nowhere near uh, finished now. And now he's uh, whip off the ropes. Oh, but he telegraphed that, there's a big kick from Gaze, and there's a big right hand, and now he's firing back with the punches. He's rocking the youngster, whip of his own. Phoenix reverse, nice hip toss, and Gaze goes over. But Phoenix, a little cocky there, turned away for just a second. Gazer right on him. I'm joined once again by Paul Wright here at the announce table. Phoenix had the right idea for the first part of the match, but Gazer proved him wrong pretty quickly. You can keep him off his feet for as long as you can try, but Gazer knows every trick in that book. And Phoenix is in trouble here. The outside is Gazer's playground. Absolutely, Gazer's got a couple chapters of his own in that book. And here's uh, Phoenix, though, a smart move. He's ramming him into the apron, working on him. Well, let me tell you, folks, that apron is a pretty sharp object. I've been uh, misfortunate enough to bump into that myself on occasion. There's a head smash to the apron there. But again, Phoenix looking away, peeking off at the fans. He takes a shot to the Nards for it. Shrugs that one off, though. And here's Gaze ahead first. No, he blocks it. One to the basket, another one to the basket. And there we go. Phoenix introduced to the table right there. And that's going to make those fans happy. Oh, and there's an eye rake. Good move on his part. Referee seems to be seeing a lot go down here. And just out of camera view from uh, what I'm seeing here now, folks, I, I understand that Impact Eddie Osborne, the champion, has come out to watch this match. Referee Mark C is going to have to keep his eye on the action here as Phoenix takes it to Gaza back inside the ring. Takes him over, runs him into the buckle. I think he's got to keep it up, though. This is a kind of a lackadaisical at attack on his part against a man of this side. Uh, this caliber and lethality is Gaza Coleman. And there's Phoenix now, he's yanking the head back. And there you can just see Eddie Osborne off to the right of the screen, just kind of casually watching the action here. Perhaps he's got, uh, perhaps he's got evil intent, Paul. Evil intent on the part of both men here, Gordo. Gaza is just evil, evil when he wants to be. Oh, but good move there by Jay Phoenix, he's using everything he can in this matchup, and you gotta do that against Gaza Coleman Jr. Absolutely, and uh, he learned all kinds of dirty tricks in the Juggalo Nation, and he's, uh, he'd be best advised to use every last single one of them in his book and a few more against Gaza Coleman Jr. because we know this man absolutely dominated the pure violence division, beat everybody and anything that came in his way. He abandoned that title, he, uh, he actually beat Steve Garino for the PWA heavyweight title here in this building and then gave it back because it wasn't an honorable win in his book. And he's been after it ever since and uh, Eddie Osborne's keeping it away from him. He wants that title in the worst way in Phoenix. You know what's on this match? Instant international stardom and recognition if he can make it into that final and win the PWA title. But he's not gonna do it if he eats many moves like that. But he kicks out at two, he's still alive. Phoenix was lucky to kick out of that spinning power slam by Geza. If you get hit with Ge by Geza, not likely. Oh, big roll up by Jay Phoenix, puts on the rope. Uh, nice try for a cover there, using the ropes for leverage, but Geza too powerful, pushed out of it anyway. Phoenix has got to stay on him. I think he's got the big man rocked a little bit. Now's the time to capitalize on it, driving those forearms into the side of Geza's head, but again, distracted by the fans, and there's Geza reversing the rolls, and now he's throwing the lumber in at the gut. Soft spot on Phoenix, there's one right to the eyeball. Now comes a big whip from the Gaza man. Phoenix up on the ropes, tries to cross body, meets nothing but air. He's up, he's down, courtesy of Gaza Coleman's stiff right hand. And there's three, is that it? That looks like it. That's it. Mark C seems confused, but he could have counted to 10. Phoenix is down and Gaza advances to the insane main event. 